You've got it on the Northwest Tank Line Super Bowl show. We are coming to you from Radio Row, Mandalay Bay, Las Vegas, Super Bowl 58, the Chiefs and the 49ers. Uh, our 23rd year, one of those years we were lucky enough to watch this man actually compete in the game, former Philadelphia Eagles quarterback. He's got a podcast going on right now. Donovan McNabb joins us. Yes. Nice to have you aboard again. Oh, so happy. So happy to be here. Let's talk all sports. Let's break it down. Hey, let's talk hockey. Yes. All right? Like, forget you've been talking football all day long. All day. Hey, your nephew. Yes. For people that don't know, Darnell Nurse of the Oilers is your nephew. Your yes. sister is married to – or well, no, it's my, Richards. My, yeah. Yes. So my – so my sister-in-law is married to Richard. Nurse, yes, that's it. Uh, Kathy. And Darnell plays with the Edmonton Oilers. Um, Kia, his sister, plays with the now Los Angeles Sparks, mm-hmm. the WNBA team here. She was just traded, I think, last week. Um, and then Tamika, which was the oldest, went to Oregon and then went, finished up at Bowling Green, played basketball. So You get a kick watching them and their athletic endeavors? I mean, that's just one set of them. I've got, I've <laughs> you got, got your own. I've got other. No, yeah. I've got other nieces and nephews. My my niece uh, Sarah uh, won gold and silver in the Olympics. That's right. Uh, and she's an all-time yeah. Olympic holder, record holder in uh, points. So, I mean, it, it says a lot. And I've been watching hockey. It's funny because growing up in Chicago, we have the Blackhawks, which I still support. My Blackhawks. I tell Darnell. Um, I cheer for you 90-plus percent of the time until you play the Blackhawks, and then I got to go with my Blackhawks. But um, I really got into hockey because of them. Yeah. And it's funny, and it's, we talked – you just mentioned it. It gets me going and excited when I see them have success out there and fulfilling their dream. And I remember when Darnell came to train with me at the age of 13, 14, and 15 before the OHL draft. Mm-hmm. Um, and – told me his dreams and what he wanted to do. And, and I told him, I said, it can happen. And I put him with the right people in Arizona. Uh, there were a few Russian players that were training with me uh, that played hockey in the NHL, and they took him under their wing. And it was funny and to watch because here's a 13-year-old, 14-year-old kid, and those guys coming to me and said, he's going to be a star. That's awesome. And I'm like, what? Like, he's 14. Like, he's going to be a star. And here, here we are. I'm at the Super Bowl, and he was just with me last week. He was in Arizona during the All Star break. Um, brought his family in, and to come here and watch him play, even though even though they lost. Yeah, Tuesday night. Yeah, the streak was on the line, and they wind up losing the Vegas Golden Knights, which was which was playoff atmosphere. Yeah, uh, and it was set up for a rematch uh, where it has meaning in the playoffs. And I look forward to watching those two teams compete again well hopefully vancouver's in the mix that's where we're from we were lucky we got edmonton at the start of the year when they're really struggling and then yeah. they wound up firing their coach and you know they've just taken off with their new coaching staff and right they've had a great great season so a lot of fun watching the oilers and yeah playoffs are going to be interesting man vegas you know they're going to be there edmonton's playing lights out vancouver's playing lights out it's going to be a tough western conference well and that's the thing that that really brings the nhl uh up there because it's playing with meaning and so we, you talked about how they started end up firing their coach they bring in a new coach all of a sudden things change uh and just i've gotten a good rapport from from darnell about this new coach and this new staff of what they're allowing them to do and to be free and just kind of have fun and they move the puck very well it's amazing watching them move the puck out there on the ice we had fun at the cbs media conference bill cower i don't know if you know this his son-in-law kevin westgarth was with the carolina hurricanes when they won the cup so wow. Bill followed that team lights out. He did talk about Carolina yeah. a little bit. Yeah, and he follows hockey, and we had fun because J.J. Watt was there. J.J. played hockey till he was like yes, 13, he did. right? Yes, he did. Can you imagine that dude on skates? So the crazy thing was we started talking about all that, and the, the funniest thing was was the fact that Bill said, he told us before, tougher to win. We asked him, he said, it's tougher to win the Stanley Cup than it is to win a Super Bowl. I agree. Yeah. I agree. And that, that's just last night, just watching them play, I mean – Connor McDavid and Drysaddle. I mean, they've had so many, there's so many opportunities at goal, and just that far away from from that game being five one. Okay, you're a busy man. Your people are giving us the wrap up signals, so we got to get into the game very quickly here. Okay. The game itself. Two questions. One, Andy Reid, to me, how has he evolved as a coach since you were his quarterback? He's learned how to get to 
those AFC, NFC championships by the way that we approached everything, now he's understood how to get over the hump. And everything that we kind of struggled with and weren't consistent, he was able to get that cleaned up. Anything that, specifically? With, uh, maybe a little bit of consistency in practice, a little bit of, yeah. more of accountability, more of an attempt to put his quarterback in a better situation to evolve the offense and then to allow his defense with his coordinator to kind of flow. That's what Jim Johnson used to do, and that's what Steve Spignoli is doing. All right, you look at the game itself. I'm not going to ask you for a prediction, but I'll ask you what I ask everyone else. What are the questions you want to see answered? For the Super Bowl? Yeah. Um, X's and O's wise. For San Francisco, uh, is it Brock Purdy or is it more of the people around him? Um, can this defense sustain and be able to come out in the first half and play, play well? For Kansas City, can they stay on course like they've been? No turnovers, converting on third down, scoring in the red zone. Um, and then for this defense, is it a bend but don't break? Or will Jones be the game breaker on defense getting to Brock Purdy? Got a pick? Kansas City. Me too. I can't go against him. It's, it's like Tom. Uh, it's, you know, even though I played against Tom, but yeah. it's just when Tom shows up, it's a different different approach. Donovan McNabb, your podcast, people want to pick it up. It's live streaming on Spotify as well as on YouTube. It's under OutKick. It's called The Five Spot. Join me for a little sexy hour. We make sure we, we break a few things down in sports and everything else that's going hey, on. Hey, Vancouver, world. Edmonton in the playoffs, man. Come up to Vancouver. I'll be I, there. I, I got you dialed up. Hopefully it's warmed up a little bit so I don't freeze.